Welcome to the tips and tricks video for the daily inspection of the HPH Twin Shark. Let's get started. We will start here at the cockpit, walk around counterclockwise around the complete glider and the, at the end we will test here the probe in the front. First of all, let's have a closer look here at the canopy if there are any cracks, if it is dirty, if we need to clean it. But this one here is a brand new glider so everything is perfect. Let's open here the canopy. Then of course, very important or the most important thing is that the main pins are installed and that they are locked. So here we have two main pins, one on the left, one on the right hand side and they need to be locked here. You can test it as well. Looks great. Now we look here for foreign objects in the cockpit. Here I made a mistake. The recommendation is that you lift the instrument panel by the underside, the carbon part which is stiff enough. That blocks somewhere perhaps all the steering parts here, the rudders, but also here on the side as well. Also the rear seat is important. Here especially the rudder parts as well. That looks great. And then we'll have a look at all the controls if they are free. The rudder. Flaps. Now we check here that the switches are turned off, the main switch, the engine switch and also the ignition is turned off. That's really important for your safety. Yeah, they are secured. Let's plug them in. One, two. Here are the starter batteries. We also check that they are secured here, that this pin is aligned. And then we need to plug them in as well. Let's have a look here at the main wheel and we check the tire pressure. It should be four bars, but of course you can see if it is flat or not. Yeah, that looks good. Then we can directly check here the brake, the hydraulic brake. If there is some fluid on the floor and as well we can check here with the air brakes we can move the glider a little bit and check if it is moving or not if it's braked. So that's also fine. When we are here still at the landing gear topics we also need to check that the landing gear is down and blocked and we can see here the LED indicator. It looks also fine. Now we switch on the main switch and test here and also switch on the trim disconnect switch. And we test if the trim is working, indicators going up, indicators going down. We check the same here at the rear seat as well. Indicator is here, moving down, moving up. And then we need to check if we can disconnect the trim. Yeah, it's going off and there's nothing going on anymore. We check here the tow release. It is working fine, looks great. Also in the rear seat. Always take care with a canopy, especially on the ground if it is windy and so on. The canopy can get flipped down, so always close it and always also lock it. If it's not locked and there's some wind going in here, the canopy can get open and then it can get damaged. The last thing here is to check that the pins are engaging here, that the canopy is locked properly. That is also looking great. And then let's continue with the wing. The first step is to have a closer look at the shell of the wing at the upper side. We are looking for scratches, cracks, delaminations and all other deformation. Especially here at the lower side of the wing. If you make a landing, it is sometimes you have problems here on the outer side. Also we check here that this wing wheel is working and that it is secured. Let's have a look at the winglet. 
It's also great. This outer part here is only spring loaded. We have here a look at the leading edge that it is straight in one line because there you can see cracks and problems really easy. Also here the connection between the inner and the outer wing is important that these pins are aligned and then we use the second person to make the test. Please aileron to the left hand side, aileron to the right hand side, uh, aileron neutral and moving slightly. Yeah, there you can feel the play, but it's only a small play that's, that's normal, that's necessary. And I prefer to use my hand here at this linkage because otherwise you have deformation of the whole flap and it doesn't make sense. So I check here, the aileron flaps negative completely, please. Flaps positive. You can now move uh, the aileron as well, left, right. Here you can see that they are also moving, that the mixer is also working. Uh, flap zero. Okay, and the play is also great. We check here that the outer wing is locked. You can see here, this one is flat with the profile, and then I will go to the outside and try to to get the wing out, but it is locked. That's fine. And we can also try to wiggle the wing slightly and it should move on both sides. Looks good. Through this inspection window, we check here the connection. You can move it slightly, looks great. One tip for the performance of your glider, also check the miler ceilings here on the upper side, on the lower side. If the ceilings are standing up like this or down like that, then it is not great for the performance and you should replace them. Let's continue with the fuselage. We have a look at the outside for any damages, especially also on the lower side. Here on the rear side, it is very important in the area of the tail dolly to check that the shell is okay, that there are no cracks. That looks fine. And then we also check the static holes here, that they are not blocked on both sides. So we have four of these holes. It's looking great. In our case, we have an additional video for you about the complete engine system of the Twin Shark. Um, so make sure to check this out and we will continue now with the tail. At the tail, we first have a look at the attachment bolt here for the horizontal stabilizer. We also can lift it, check that this bolt is secured. Of course, later on you can tape it as well for the aerodynamics, that's fine. Then we check here the multi-probe. Of course, we also have a look for any damage, any cracks, especially also the trailing edge is important that it is in a good shape, that it's straight. Then here the rudder is also very important. Here you can easily get any damage from the tow-out equipment. Here we check these attachments, that there are no cracks around, that this one, this bolt here is secured, that the cable is fine on both sides. Here on top, of course, we have a look that the elevator is attached here also, that these connections are fine. And what is really, really important is that you know if you have here fixed ballast in the tail or not, especially if you're flying as a single seater here with only one person, it is mandatory to remove these eight kilograms of weight and then of course you also need to check here all the ballast the the ballast for the pilot and then as well if you have ballast in the wing the this ballast here the lower water tank has a maximum capacity of eight liters one liter of water in the tail balances 25 liters of water in the wings so 
if you don't know exactly what is in here, remove the tape so that the water can flow out or open the valve so that it will flow out here on the bottom. And then we also check the holes for dumping the water ballast, that it is not blocked perhaps by mud or anything like this. When we are here at the bottom of the tail, we need also to check the tire pressure. Um, we can just have a look if it is flat or not, but of course you should check that you have 2.5 bars pressure in here. Elevator up, down, middle, and by yourself, no play, right? Then rudder left, rudder right, rudder middle. And I recommend to, to take the rudder here because we have here the linkages, so the, the force is better here than up here because you're twisting the rudder. And we don't want to damage the glider at a check. It's time to continue with the right hand wing, but of course we already showed you exactly how to make the daily inspection on the left hand wing. So we will skip it for this video, but you need to check the right hand wing as well. One last step, we check here the fuselage at the front, also at the bottom, if there is any damage, if there are any big cracks, looks fine. That's the daily inspection of the Twin Shark. Check out our other videos, especially also about the engine system of the Twin Shark. And then thanks for watching. See you next time.